Hey guys, and here we are back with another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. And today here we are with a different kind of system, in this particular case CCTV. And uh, this can be a system or it can be a device only. And I say system because we can get more of these devices which have a really competitive price and some interesting features that I will share with you guys in just a few moments. And as I was saying, it can be a system because we can get two or three of these devices and have our own home with some sorts of surveillance. Now in terms of the package itself, it comes with this particular camera right over here with a USB to micro USB cable and a few screws if you want to attach this to a wall or to a ceiling for example, which we can do. And it comes with a quick user guide that will be more than enough to have this running in about one minute. In terms of setting it up, really, really easy using that quick setup guide. We will download an app to our phone and then after downloading the app, we just need to follow a few steps and one of the steps is is that the app will show a QR code. We will show that QR code to the camera. The camera will recognize the system, will connect to phone, will connect to our network. And after that, in just a couple of minutes, we have everything working. So in terms of using it, I would call it a plug and play because it's really, really easy, even for someone that never used a CCTV or any kind of surveillance system before. So very easy in this particular case. In terms of options, we will have a lot of options. Honestly, more options than I was expecting for the kind of device that we have. I'll show you guys very quickly here on screen but we will have configurations, all sorts. We can change the name, we can change the rotation of the camera if we want to mount it upside down. We can change the speed that we want to move the camera because we have a camera that can move up to 30, 60 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees uh, vertically. We also find alarm options, the storage options, including the format of our SD cards. By the way, the maximum is a card of 128 gigabytes and it will take roughly at the maximum quality 30 days of shooting, 30 days of continuous shooting. And in terms of the image quality, which is one of the things that I will show you guys right over there, and also the angle, as I was saying, we can rotate 360 degrees, but have in mind that it's not 360 continuous. We will have 180 up to the back part, and then we will not be able to continue. And then we will have to reverse uh, to this side and this is easy to understand because there are components right over here and if we add a 360 continuous they probably would mess up so in terms of image we will get we will be able to get the 360 but it's not continuous and then vertically we can have 90 degrees with a lens of 110 degrees so we will be able to have a great shot and as you guys can see by some images right over there I can get almost my whole office without moving the lens and then when I move the lens I can get everything that I want to see. In terms of recording we can use the 24-7 recording or we can set it up to record only when there is movement. We can also uh, include the alarm which was on the settings and if there's movement it will record and it will push an alarm and that alarm will push a notification to my phone uh, stating that I've got something happening at home. So this might be useful for a lot of situations. And then of course for those that are asking, hey Robert what about image quality? In my opinion it's not bad at all. I'll show you guys a few images right over there. Having in consideration the price, which I will leave a link down below, it is a device that has more quality than I was expecting, not only on the features, but also on the image quality that we can download to our phone and then we can transfer to our computer if you want to keep any kind of archive or something like that. All even in the night mode, it has the infrared night mode. And as you guys can see, it looks really good. We can have a good definition. We can see exactly the person that is right over there. In this particular case, it was me. And if you are wondering, hey, how dark it was, I only had two monitors um, connected or three, I can't recall, and it was really dark. So I'll show you an image taken with my phone. And as you guys can see, it's really dark. I will also show just out of curiosity a picture with night mode on my iPhone 11 Pro so that you guys can see the difference between the two shots. But that's just to say that we will have no issues at all using this device at night because it can capture everything. Talking about capture, it has also audio on the two ways. Feedback. 
And that's about it, guys. It is an interesting device depending on what we try to achieve. Of course, it has nothing to do with the systems that we have seen that are a lot more complex. And I'll try to leave a few links down below, but they are also a lot more expensive. So someone looking for something simple, if they want to keep an eye on home just to see if there's no fire, if there's no floods or something like that, if we have a few pets and we just want to keep an eye on them. Also, a very interesting option is if you remember those older devices like walkie-talkies that we used to keep our kids babies and we are talking about babies uh, to keep them watched uh, during the night this is a great option for that very very cheap and very effective we can have sound and we can have image from the baby while it's on the room so there are a lot of options for this kind of device if you ask me here Robert what about replacing one of your systems I wouldn't say that it's capable because there are a few disadvantages first of all I use them outside this is not waterproof one disadvantage to keep it outside is that we have a SD card as a memory unlike the NVR that keeps our footage on a centralized uh, place and then uploads to the cloud if we want to so this also has the clouds option but although it has a lot of limitations for the price that it costs I can't complain because it has a lot of options and a great image quality and that is it I'm going to shut up hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one Thank you.